We are going to be talking about having a dad bod and a mummy tummy. Uh, pretty much that weight around your middle that you really just cannot lose no matter how much you are trying. Um, it can be so frustrating. You can be eating as healthy as you, you know, you can just be eating absolutely healthy, but your, your body just won't let it go. It will not let go of that weight around your middle. And trust me, this was me as well. And it's so friggin' frustrating um, when you are really trying to lose that weight and you can't. All right, super. We are live. Just give me one sec and I will get started here. Awesome. So we are here because um, many of you are athletic. Many of you, uh, you wouldn't have gotten into this job. You wouldn't even have gotten the job if you were not of some sort of a um, physical uh, specimen, so to speak. You need to pass certain tests in order to get in. And you need to be able to tactically um, move and be quick to react in order to keep yourself safe on the job. Um, fire, you guys are carrying about 100 pounds of equipment. Um, the, the physical strength that you guys need and endurance in order uh, when you are on scene is unbelievable. Um, fire, you need guys, you need to be so quick. Corrections as well. You guys need to be able to hold your own and you need to be quick. And then we've got EMS. You guys, it's like you guys are carrying people. There's a lot of areas where you have all these fancy tools nowadays, but they don't always work in every single situation. I know when my neighbor uh, broke his hip um, through tiny, tiny stairwell, you guys needed to carry him down until you could get him to the stretcher, down steep, thin, narrow steps. So you guys all need to be in really, really good shape. And the thing is, is it's so frustrating because through time on the job, what happens is you get that weight around your middle, you get that extra layer of fat, and you may be working out, you may be eating super healthy if your stress system is even allowing that. Um, and it still won't go away. It is the most frustrating thing. But I'm going to tell you that um, just in my program, there was a guy who lost 20 pounds in the first two months of the program. Now, the first two months of the program, there's nothing on nutrition. There is nothing on working out. It is all managing your stress system because what is happening in your body is um, when you are going out to a stress call, when you are um, anything, when you're putting on your uniform, if there's admin stress, if you have stress at home, your body can't tell the difference between that and a call. And it is always sending out cortisol, which is a stress hormone, but also glucose. And when this glucose is being sent out, but you have an admin stress or financial stress, or you get to a call and it's cleared and you don't physically need to be using that glucose for fuel to fight the fight, it's floating around in your body and your body has to clean it up. So through the years of service, your body is sending this out and cleaning it up and sending it out and cleaning it up. And it just becomes this vicious cycle that your brain eventually says, what the heck are you doing? Like we keep sending this out and cleaning it up. Why don't we store some around your middle? So it starts storing fat, the glucose in your fat around your middle. So you get that, that weight gain around your middle and your brain is like, it doesn't matter what you eat. It doesn't matter how much you work out. You could be running ultra marathons. We're not going to get rid of it. We're not going to get rid of any of that and let it go until you stop sending out as many stress signals. So that's what happens. So you get this weight. So like this guy in the program, 20 pounds, 20 pounds, because he was learning how to manage his stress, how to stop that stress response from going out so much and coming back in. Um, I wrote some notes so I wouldn't forget everything as well. So then we get into the situation too, where um, you are really trying, but you're exhausted. And you have that motivation and drive. So for a while, you may be working out and going to the gym and, and eating as healthy as you can um, with your shifts and everything that it allows on your shifts. And as you're doing that, you're eventually either nagging injuries or your motivation and drive 
starts going. So you're able to go through a workout and you can, some, you start struggling getting to the workout, but once you're there, your adrenaline picks up a bit. And it gets to the point eventually where you don't even get that adrenaline rush anymore during your workout. And you may find that even if you are the day after a day, like the next day after, even though it was supposed to help your stress, you're shorter with your loved ones. Uh, it tends to be at home more. You may be more spacey when it comes to having to do errands or trying to figure out how to make a friggin' sandwich ends up becoming tough after you've done a workout. Um, and all of these things are because you're working your stress system and your stress system gets more and more taxed and keeps lowering your glucose and lowering that cortisol, which is your stress hormone, but it's also your energy waking hormone. So you end up with the glucose hormone lowering and being stored around your middle. You end up with the motivation and drive. So then you can't get to the gym anymore. You also stop making as healthy of meals because you're so friggin' exhausted. You get home and all you want to do is lay on the couch. You don't want to sit and either go grocery shopping, prep food and cook it. It just is beyond where your energy, your motivation and your drive is at a certain point. So on top of the stress, adding that to you, you also get to the point where you can't work out, where you just don't have the means to even be making anything healthy and to be taking care of yourself. So you're eating crap, which as you know, adds to your stress. It just becomes this whole vicious cycle. Um, the other thing as well, this glucose going out all the time starts create, um, creating a lot of sugar cravings and carb cravings. Um, also gut issues start happening because of all of this stress. So you end up constipated. Um, you can hold 15 pounds in your colon, 15 pounds. So some of the weight gain could just be that you are constipated and then bloating. I know for myself, once I started, um, um, healing my gut issues, my neighbors kept talking about all the weight I'd lost. It was constipation freaking constipation and bloating. And you wouldn't have been able to tell because I was still lean a little bit, but I had a little muffin top for me. But now I'm back to having six pack abs, which I've had my whole life. But once my gut started going, once my motivation and drive, once I was building that glucose around my gut, all of those things were all adding up. And as I was managing the stress and fixing my gut and doing all the things that we need to do in order to fix it, my colon started working more. I wasn't holding as much. Uh, the glucose started releasing from my gut and I wasn't holding as much water. And then I got that motivation and drive back so that I could actually start prepping healthier meals. So the prepping of the healthy meals is not where it starts because when your motivation and drive is exhausted, that's just a vicious circle that you can't help right? And when your glucose is totally off, when your, your, your stress hormone is totally off, you're having crazy sugar cravings that it doesn't matter if you have the healthiest meal beside you. There's no amount of willpower that is going to get you to eat that healthy meal. When you're having these crazy sugar and carb cravings, you're going to go and grab the junk. It's just how it happens. So as much as you want to be eating healthy, that can be your end goal, but that's not where it starts. Where it starts is by making sure that your whole stress system is taken care of, that you're, you're able to control that switch where you're going in and out of stressed states, control that switch, um, and so that it's not happening as much, support the damage that has already been done to get everything, the cortisol and the, the glucose to be running the way that it was supposed to, get all of that working the way it is, get your gut totally running smooth so you're not constipated or having diarrhea again so that you're not bloated, getting all of these things sorted, and then you start working on the other things. So it's part that doing things are just happening in the wrong order. So tell me in the comments, as to how many of you have, have been struggling on that? How many of you have been, um, hey Fleur, how many of you have really struggled with this where you're doing everything that you have been told for a civilian that they need to be doing? Um, the, the, the working out and the healthy eating and 
it's not helping. It's not helping your motivation and drive. It's not helping the, the injuries repair. It's not helping with that weight around your middle. It's not helping you make better meal choices just because for a week you're eating healthy. It's not going to get rid of those, those sugar cravings, right? Because it's not the food. It's an issue in your gut. It's not the food. It's an issue in your hormones and your nervous system and all of these things that make up your stress system. So what do we do about it? Well, what I do about it in my program is we start teaching you slowly how to um, be controlling that switch, how to be um, healing your gut, how to be in a way that works around your schedule. Because you can go to somebody to heal your gut, but they're, they often don't understand 12-hour shifts with OT, 24-hour shifts, how to be sleeping and eating on all of these things. So you need to understand how to work that into your life and your schedule. So you do it with small habits, two weeks at a time. I'm going to tell you that most of the guys in my program read the lessons on the toilet. We've designed it so that it's that easy to do. Um, so it, the thing is, too, is we don't believe in having a pause button. So you should be able to implement the habits that we're doing on the toughest of calls. Um, like in Chicago right now where you don't have a day off, you can still start learning and implementing all of the steps that we have. And the first thing that we start with is boosting your battery, just like a car. We get that battery where it's dying, it can't start the car. So we give it a boost and it can start your car again. But if you don't fix the root cause, the battery just drains again. But the first two weeks of the program gets people's motivation and drive back. It starts getting it to where your stress system is lowered, where you're controlling things, where your gut can actually start releasing some of that fat around your belly because your stress system is getting that support that it needs. Um, so you can really get quick changes to start, but then you need to put in the work in order to make sure that the rest of your engine is running right so that the battery can stay running. All right. Any questions, let me know. Uh, absolutely pop in the comments with um, how long it's been since you have been struggling with uh, that weight that you can't release. Um, tell me all the things you've tried. Have you tried working out? Have you tried, um, what diets have you tried? Um, how has anything worked? Let me know, plug that into the comment section because I'm very curious um, to see what you have tried and, um, and just know that it's frustrating. Uh, it's frustrating for everybody before they go into my program and then they start seeing that a lot of stuff that they were reading just really wasn't made for the life of a responder. I mean, the stress you guys are going through right now is ridiculous. And there's no way that your body can be releasing that weight around your middle and giving you the motivation and drive without you giving yourself some support for your stress system. Your body was not designed to handle the stress that a lot of you are going through right now um, in your profession. So reach out. We can absolutely help you. Uh, private message me on Facebook. Uh, 911 lifestyle, or I think it's at 911 stress management or MGT, or email me support at 911lifestyle.com. We are here to help. You are not alone.